Taylor here with Boogie Lights. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of our newest products. It's our Rock Guard LED light kit for RVs. This product includes two four foot LED strips, multicolor LED strips that are then tied in to our dual zone controller. So for this particular setup, the customer wanted a dual zone controller where he could operate the driver side under zone one and the passenger side under zone two. Dual zone is a very uh, popular uh, option because it gives you the ability to control two different zones with one controller. Uh, and it's also Bluetooth capability uh, that you can use, you know, operate it with your smartphone. Now also included in this kit is two red four foot LED strips that are then tied into his brake, his tail and his turn signal interface. So when I shut off the multicolor here, you will then see the left turn signal come on. Next, you will see the right turn signal come on. You'll see the brake lights come on next. You see that chrome lighting up really nicely down there. And then you will see the running lights come on. Now, since it operates three different diodes for one for each one of those sets, you can leave the running lights on and hit the left turn signal. So you can see that the other, those two diodes are still working there and you can, you can have, leave one on while the other one is still operating. So pretty cool stuff. We are going to take a, a closer look at how we did this wiring and uh, just exactly how you can mount this yourself. Your rock guard is going to come uh, and it's going to be 94 and 3 quarters inches long and it comes in a 90 degree aluminum angle piece that looks just like this. Your lights will be mounted to the top of the inside here, already come assembled like that. And then you'll have some wire tie mounts holding the, the wires down on top of this. So what we did for this one, uh, you have two options. You can either mount it directly to the top of the rock guard that looks like that. And you're going to use the existing holes that are already there. So you would unscrew the bolts that are, are already holding the rock guard in place. You will drill through the rock guard and then you will just put that bolt through and, and then reattach it on the back. Now that's one option, putting it on top like this, but uh, when we do this, you often run into the problem of the rock guard not being able to go completely horizontal like that. And, and if that's the case, you will, get, you will end up bending your rock guard. So we actually recommend putting it down a step. All of these rock guards have a rubber uh, backing and then they have a chrome uh, finish here on the, on the front. So you can actually attach the rock guard about, I don't know, maybe two or three inches down from the top using the existing screws. The screws that you see right here are in the exact same places up top. So you're going to pull all those screws out. You're going to peel that chrome back a little bit and you're going to slide that rock guard down right behind it. You're going to drill those holes exactly where they line up. Put your screws back through, tighten them on, and then you're going to actually do the wiring itself. So as you take a look up here, now this rock guard has both of the light strips have a quick disconnect on them. So if you ever need to take this off for service or whatever, uh, you are able to do that. So now as you take a look at the wiring itself, once you get the rock guard back up in place and chained back up, you're going to go ahead and you're going to pull your wires up through here. And you can wire time to kind of wherever you want to wire time to. This wire right here is actually the wire that runs down through this piping and down to our rock guard down there. That makes its connection right here. So you'll see it comes with two of these quick disconnect connectors I was talking about. One of them is for the underglow system that ties into, that has the multicolor that ties into the rest of your rig. And the other one is your, is your single color red LEDs that ties into the brake light and uh, turn signal interface. So you'll wire those up, connect those quick disconnects, and then we actually have the wire running right to here for our brake lights. You're just gonna end up cutting, find your brake light wire right there. You're gonna pretty much open that up and then snip that. You'll have some uh, different colors there that correspond to the different turn signal. All of our paperwork uh, comes with everything that you need to know about doing that. There's plenty of, of YouTube videos out there too, how to watch the tie into brake and tail turn signals. Very simple and easy stuff to do. Uh, just takes, you know, tire installations, maybe two, three hours. And then you're gonna get the same thing on this side. Here's the, our wiring that comes up from the rock guard, follows along here. And then you have your, your two quick disconnects. As I said, one for the underglow and one for the brake light. Uh, and so one of these actually runs uh, all the way up to the front where our controller module is there for the underglow. 
and the other one runs and ties right here, which goes to our brake and tail and turn signal. So that is everything that you need to know about our, our new product, our Rock Guard LED light strip for RVs. Everything that you see here was done in-house in Florence, Kentucky at Boogie Lights. Give us a call and get lit up today.